Hi, I'm Kate Avenger. I'm one of Gavin and Vanessa's moms. I want to talk to you today about two quick stories I'm going to read to you. One is called I Am Peace and the other is called What Do You Do With a Problem? I'm talking to you about those two stories today because they tie in together with what a troubled world we've been living in, especially in 2020. And I have two main things that I've learned in church that I really wanted to tie into these stories. The first one is that God works everything for the good. And the second is that we are God's hands. So if you live in a time of trouble, then I am God's hands and you are God's hands. And together, you and I can do things that make a difference in this world. You know, but when we get too bogged down in our problems, sometimes it's hard to figure out what to do. Um, sometimes you, you know, just get depressed about it and don't want to do anything, or you feel really rushed to do something about it, but you don't always make the best choices about what's going to help. So these books are about slowing down, calming down, maybe looking at things a little bit differently so that you can bring a positive change to the world. I hope you like the stories. I Am Peace, a book of mindfulness by Susan Verde with art by Peter H. Reynolds. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water. And I feel like a boat with no anchor. Being carried away. I give myself a moment. I take a breath. And then I tell myself, it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself. And start to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle. My mind begins to clear. I am peace. I can watch my worries gently pop and disappear. I let things go. I can say what I feel inside out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. I can taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune into me. Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. And I dream we are peace. Now I'm going to read to you What Do You Do With a Problem? Written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Bessem. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem, I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shooed it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problems became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. 
Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. I hope you liked the stories. I hope they inspired you to be brave, to get calm and centered, and to slow down enough to figure out what God wants us to do. There's going to be plenty of troubles out there, and it doesn't solve everything that we have a plan. But if your plan is to be brave and calm and to be God's hands and to figure out what that means for you, I think you're going to make a good difference. Thanks for being you. Peace.